And uh, they're off in the 2024 Coral Scottish Champion Hurdle and Ephanoc Fizz is immediately set alight by Carl Miller going into the turn, followed by uh, Rubo and Affidil, the Paul Nichols pair, settled second and third ahead of First Street as they reach the first hurdle. And all over that safely, Beer Wistock is held up at the back with Benson Petit on air and also Alvani in the light blue, as it is. Ephanoc Fizz in company with uh, Rubo and Harry Cobden. Affidil, the blue and white, and they are followed then by uh, Salsada. First Street, Cracking Rhapsody, the inside of Favour and Fortune, the white sleeves and cap as they jump number two ahead of Florida Dreams. Alvani is gone. Alvani down at the second. The horse is up. And Brian Hayes has got to his feet as they move on towards the third. Rubo has taken over to Ephanoc Fizz. First Street made a significant mistake on the inside of the course there and lost some ground. Ginger Mail has held up at the back with Petty Tonair and Benson and Beer Wistock last of all. Lodu Sud is a little worse than midfield. The grey, the yellow colours, Harry Skelton on the outside. One circuit to go and it's Rubo, last year's winner, defending his Scottish champion hurdle crown. And they're not going overly quickly. It's Rubo in front of Ephanoc Fizz. Affidil is in third place. Affidil racing on the outside of Salsada, followed by Favour and uh, Fortune and Florida Dreams. Lodu Sud on the outside of the More Battle winner, Cracking Rhapsody. And then Westport Cove, who's followed by Ginger Mail, whose half-brother Elvis Mail runs in the big one later on. Elvis, uh, Ginger Mail, a grey on the inside of Petty Tonair. Benson and Beer Wistock is last of all, as it is. Rubo that leads them entering the back straight. They've taken three of the nine, and it's Rubo to Ephanoc Fizz and Affidil with Salsa. Sada. She is on the inside in fourth. Lodi Sudden, Florida Dreams, Favour and Fortune, the inside under Tom Cannon, followed by Cracking Rhapsody. Rubo gets over the first hurdle in the back. And behind Cracking Rhapsody is Westport Cove and Benson and Petty Tonair. Uh, first Street has lost uh, a lot of ground after that mistake. Beer Wistock and Ginger Mail is just the back marker as they take the middle hurdle in the back straight. And Rubo still has the advantage. Ephanoc Fizz is just shaken along on the outside. Affidil is following. Following, in company with Florida Dream, Salsada, and on the inside of the course is Favour and Fortune. Lodu Sud is there on the outer, grouping up in behind the leader, Rubo, who jumps the fourth last economically and well. Westport Cove is in about eighth place with Benson on the outside. Then Petit on air, Ginger Mail. No move yet from Beer Wistock. First Street looks out of this now. So coming to the end of their first circuit, three left to jump. Rubo, who've had two winning top weights already today. Rubo is in front, but they're stacking up in behind Ephanoc Fizz Affidil. Then uh, Salsada, Favour and Fortune go sweetly on the inside. Lodu Sud on the outer of Florida Dreams. Cracking Rhapsody, last year's uh, uh, the more battle hurdle winner of this year is around the inside, just scraping the paint, followed by uh, Ginger Mail. This is the third last. Rubo gets to it in front, jumps it brilliant. Leader Ephanoc Fizz and Affidil, Favour and Fortune. Lodu Sud, the outside of Florida Dreams. Uh, Beer Wistock smuggled into the race, but still with plenty in front of him. Rubo is now driven as Favour and Fortune comes to take over here, running to the second last. Affidil still there. Lodu Sud the outside. This is two out. Favour and Fortune pressing Rubo. They land together to Affidil. Then cracking Rhapsody. Lodu Sud, Beer Wistock making good progress in behind runners. It's Favour and Fortune just with the advantage here to Rubo. Cracking Rhapsody. Affidil and Lodu Sud. Favour and Fortune. The novice takes the last in front in the Scottish champion hurdle. Beer Wistock is chasing hard, short of a bit of room. Favour and Fortune. It's Beer Wistock delivered by Paul Town in the far side, but it's still just close to the finish. Favour and Fortune wins for Alan King. The Scottish champion hurdle to be a Wistock tight in behind with uh, Cracking Rhapsody well there with Affidil and Lodu Sud. Favour and Fortune has won the Coral Scottish champion hurdle. Favour and Fortune wins the Scottish champion hurdle for Alan King who joins me now and that was a battling performance. It was, I mean he travelled great through it and probably a little bit worried that we may have got to the front too soon. I must admit when Paul headed us halfway up the run and I, I thought we were probably in a bit of trouble but he battled back very well. The form of the Supreme as you would imagine has worked out quite well Alan and this was your boy's first handicap. It was and it's his first time since the beginning of the season they've been back on better ground. I mean we've been running them all winter on heavy. Um, and he's such a good action horse, and he, he, I mean, he, he runs okay on it, but I always thought he'd be better, and his jumping was better today on better ground. Tom, happy enough? Oh, he's very happy with him, yeah. yeah. 
Where, where from here? I mean, if again this season and, no, and what no, next time? He, he's finished for the season. It was win, lose, draw. We were going to pull up stumps after today. I don't know. I need to speak to Catherine and Mick. I mean, I, off the top of my head, I think I'd like to stay hurdling for another season. Um, but we know, we'll, we'll discuss that. We'll enjoy today and we'll worry about that in the autumn. But um, I mean, he will make a chaser, but I, I think that could be farther down the line. Yeah. Prestigious race to win, isn't it? It's lovely. It's a second. I love coming back here, back home. Um, Place is buzzing. Place is buzzing. A great atmosphere. That's the interesting thing, having done the three festivals. I mean, Cheltenham was, a, I felt, very subdued. Not a great atmosphere. Liverpool, Aintree was brilliant and this nearly tops them. It's, it's, it's always lovely to come back up. Well done, Alan. Thank you. Cheers. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.